Okay, to start the development of this hopper, we're now going to go and find the seam. And we need the true length of our seam. So the true length of our seam, there's our seam here. We projected the true length over there in the last video. And now we're going to go and measure that true length. And which minus 55. I'm then going to go and draw that seam's true length out over here. And I can mark that again as my seam. And then I'm going to start constructing triangles from that seam in a clockwise direction. So I'm going to start off with this triangle over here. I've got that line, so I need to go and construct this line here and then C1. So this line over here is already a true length in the top view. So I can go take my compass and put my compass on, on that length. And because I've drawn up my seam and that is a top line, I'm going to place my compass point on the top of my seam and go and draw out an arc. And then I am going to take the true length of line C1, which is marked with the 2. So I know that I need to go and find that true length, which is marked with two lines. Put my compass on that length. and place it on this end of my seam and make an arc. And then if I join those two, that point will now be point C. And then this line here must be in construction because it's a line that we've created our triangulation that line there will be the line C1 and that has completed the construction of our first triangle over there now moving to the next triangle we're going to have to go and construct line C2 so C2 is the triangle you go find the triangle here in our true lengths take your compass Place it on that true length. Okay, we're going to place it onto point C and make an arc. And then for the distance between point 1 and point 2, we're going to take that as a direct distance measured using our compass because the arc length and the straight line length difference is negligible. So we're going to take that distance there place it onto point 1 and we're going to arc that and now before okay, just so you can see my arcs better draw that a bit darker with those two arcs have now come together we're going to draw another construction line through to point C but we're not going to draw anything joining point 1 and that which is now point two because we're going to use a French curve to go and join those points because that part over here is going to form a curve. Note please that in my drawing that I've done here I should have started this high up on the page because this is this development is going to curve downwards on my page and for me it's not going to my entire development's not going to fit on this page but I'm not going to do the entire development for you. I'm just going to do the first part so that you can see how it works and it will just repeat itself all the way around as you complete the development. So that is now this triangle over here complete. Now we're going to do triangle C23. So now we need the true length of line C3 which is marked with one line. There's our one line true length. So we're going to take our compass and open it up to that true length. And then we're going to place that again on point C. And we're going to make an arc. Then we're going to take the length between point 2 and point 3. And which is there. Place that on point 2. And then make another arc. 
And then when those two come together, we again go and draw a construction line down to point C. And that will now be point 3. And again, you're not going to join anything up there yet because that's going to be an arc. Then that has completed that triangle. Now we need to work to this one over here. And again, same process. That is marked with a circle. So we find its true length here as a circle. We take our compass and we place it on that true length. And we place our compass point again on point C. Make another arc. Then take the distance between point 3 and point 4. Over there. And place that on point 3. And make another arc. And where those two, two come together, we join another construction line down to point C. And that will be our point 4, which is then that triangle complete. Now for this big triangle here to transition from this quarter of our, of our development through to this quarter of our development, so that we can do the same process all over again for this section over here, we need to go and construct this triangle. It now has a side which is CB but that true length is already in the top view so we're going to simply open our compass out onto the true length of CB place that on point C and make an arc and then take the true length of line B4 which is also marked with a circle and we're going to find that here in our front view where we worked out our true lengths and we're going to go and place that onto point 4 make an arc and where those two arcs come together, that is our, now formed our point B. And we can make that a dark line because it's a baseline, well not a baseline, it's a top line in this case. And then draw another construction line from point B to point 4. That over here will be point B. And that's now created that big triangle, which is this big triangle over here. Now for the rest of the development, you're going to simply repeat the process again. You're going to go to this triangle here, where you're going to go and find the true length marked with the one line in this view, which is going to be there. You're going to place that on point B now, make an arc, then take the true length between point 4 and point 5 in our top view. We're going to place that on point 4. And we're going to make an arc. And when those two arcs come together, we're going to again start that whole process of joining that to point B as the construction line. That now being point 5. And now I've completed that triangle there. And then we can go and do it all over again for point for line B6. Go and find the true length of line B6, which is a triangle. So we take the true length of that triangle. Here, we mark, place our compass point and point B again, make an arc, take the length, true length between point 6 and point 5, and then place our compass point and point 5, arc that, and then join that up to point B. And you can see now that this is very repetitive, and you will complete that going all the way around until you have completed going all the way around your top view over here and you'll end on this last triangle here which means that the last line you're going to draw is your seam again and then once you've completed that you're then going to take your French curve or a flexi curve and you're going to go and join up all these numbers here using that to get a curve which will then represent the curve that we have here 